Good morning, sons. It's Blind Dad with Sound of Tech once again. Today, we're going to be taking a look at my favorite topic, and that is benchmark leaks for graphics cards. Today, in particular, we're going to be taking a look at the AMD RX 6800 XT, and we have three to four different reports, uh, sources here reporting on the scores for this particular card, and they're looking pretty good. So the AMD RX 6800 XT is going to be the Navi 21 based or big Navi graphics card on RDNA 2 architecture. This is the only big Navi variant that will be available to board partners at launch. So board partners include things like Asus, MSI, Gigabyte, Sapphire, XFX. The good news is we are going to uh, see those third party board makers building something. However, this does go back to me uh, and my suspension of there being issues with availability on launch or product availability. That aside, let's take a look at the benchmarks. So in Firestrike Extreme, Yuko Yoshida reported a score of 24,200. That's at 1440p. Firestrike Extreme 4K, Igor's Lab reported a score of 13,066. And in Firestrike Ultra, we have a couple scores. WCCF Tech reported 12,871. Cap Frame X reported 11,500. And Yuko Yoshida reported a score of 12,800. In Time Spy at 1440p, Yuko reported a score of 16,700. And in Time Spy Extreme, Igor's Lab reported a score of 8,232 with WCCF Tech coming in at 8,230, and Yuko coming in with a flat score of 8,000. In Port Royal 4K, which will, of course, include ray tracing, we saw Igor's Lab report a score of 4,438, with WCCF Tech reporting a score of 4,387. So everything's really pretty close in line there. It's starting to get closer to less of a leak and probably more uh accurate than say like a leak from a few weeks ago and it's starting to be pretty pretty enticing comparison with of course the rtx 3080 founders edition especially once you start looking at the comparison charts where in firestrike extreme 4k the rtx 3080 founders edition scored a score of 10,000 688 with all of these screens coming from Igor's lab of course full credit to him in time spy extreme 4k we saw the margin drop a little bit and the RTX 3080 founders edition scored 7977 but here my friends is where things get interesting it appears that big Navi is behind in ray tracing as suspected because this will be the first generation the AMD has dipped their toes into ray tracing. And for Port Royal 4K, the RTX 3080 Founders Edition scored 5,415, while the 6800 XT actually fell behind with the score of 4,438. Of course, this could be driver implementation and these scores will probably change, I think, on release date on the 28th. The reason I said that is because like I mentioned, drivers and drivers for ray tracing, to me, at least if it's an initial release, is going to be something that is going to be impacted more heavily than, say, your standard rendering uh, options, you know, whatever else is going on with the older benchmarks like Firestrike and Time Spy. Alrighty, so if you take a look at the percentages, what that's going to do is show a 20% uplift of the 6800 XT over the 3080 in Firestrike. You're gonna see about a 3% uplift in performance in Time Spy Extreme 4K. And you are going to see about a 22% loss in performance in Port Royal 4K over the 3080. It does appear, like I mentioned, that WCCF Tech reported the same similar scores, as well as Cat Frame X on Twitter and Kitty Y Yuko on Twitter as well, reporting these scores. We have some more charts and you can check it out down in the description below. What does this mean for gaming? What does this mean for mining? Look, here's the thing. I don't think you're gonna be able to purchase the cards, especially since it seems that AMD has already stated 
or at least the rumors are from the best of my knowledge going to be that the third party manufacturers are only getting access to the 6800 XT at launch. So anything like the 6900 XT or the 6700 XT is only gonna be reference models, best that I can tell, or they're only gonna release the 6800 XT, which is a possibility, because if you recall in the 5000 series, they only released the 5700 XT at launch and then moved from there. Super interesting results here. We do have ray tracing confirmed working in Port Royal as far as if we're talking about leak confirmations, can't really say confirmed, but it does look like it is functioning with ray tracing yet at a poor performance than like the RTX 3080. That being said, if you're talking about older rendering options such as DirectX 11, it looks like it performs significantly better uh, than the RTX 3080. So DirectX 11 is gonna be an interesting one when it comes to debates for eSports performance. And then if we're talking about DirectX 12, it, they're pretty much neck and neck, right? Within 3%, I, I'd say that would be margin of error which is super curious that you would see a 20% uplift in an older API and then that gets knocked all the way down in, in a newer API to only a 3% lead. I'm curious what's happening here and it's gonna be interesting to see these cards. What we may see is that you were going to be purchasing GPUs based on use case. Very, very similar to what happened when AMD attacked Intel on the CPU front where they were like, hey, content creators, take a look at Ryzen. Ryzen 1, not as good for gaming, but it can still game. And you get a whole bunch of extra productivity. Here it is. What you're gonna see, I think, is basically use, use cases. And it does look like, to me, if these leaks are accurate, the use case is going to be, hey, esports guys, take a look at this 6800 XT. You play in that CSGO, you play in DirectX 11, you want the most frames, look at this 20% uplift, boom. And so that's what I am presuming is gonna be happening or something similar to that. I would like to hear what you guys think are gonna happen down in the description, or not description, down in the comments below. And I will see you next Tuesday.